Good morning, it's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we get to find out what's up with what is going down. Today's day is <laughs> Thursday, the 21st of July, 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Well, here we go. Right, so we've got CoreCoin BTC. Uh, 22,914. Jeepers, that has got a long way to fall. That is going to burn a lot of people because it's got an economic and legal value of precisely zero because it's a security offering. Same with Bcrash, utterly worthless. Fisher Price Cash, who cares? But then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. And a commodity data protocol is created with a fixed supply, a locked protocol, infinite scale, economic competition, and a chain of digital signatures for common accountability. Those five principal constructs are only intact on the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin, BSV, making it the most valuable commodity on earth. My goodness me. Yours today for $56. <laughs> so hash rate 0.32%. Let's have a look at that on Mazari. Yep, still looking very strong. Loving that. Network nodes 0.46%. Transactions though 84.62. Block size 95.49. Still absolutely massive. So remember, these are data management networks. The block size, which is the amount of data flowing onto the network, is uploaded via the transactions. The transactions are processed by the nodes. The nodes are what create blocks and supply the hash rate. And the hash rate is attracted to the value, which is meant to be representative of the price. But the price is currently speculative because people don't have a clue what Bitcoin is. But, uh, you know, BTC, Bcrash and Fish Price Cash all going to zero, I'm afraid. Uh, it's going to be a harsh lesson for a lot of people to learn, but don't say I didn't try my best to educate people on it. So remember, just like in business, when uh, turnover is vanity and profit is sanity, when it comes to Bitcoin, hash rate is vanity and block size is sanity. That's where it is. So let's have a look at the data flowing through the chain. Oh, we've got 336 megabyte blocks straight out of the gate. Oh, no gigabyte blocks in the column of 30 this morning. Never mind. Uh, SBI crypto though still having a belter romping away with that hash rate so hash rate follows price follows value follows utility follows creativity initiative and intelligence if you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative you can make something useful when something is useful it can then create value when it creates value it can then develop a price when it develops a price it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange remember if something is useless it is worthless it's as simple as that Proof of work by network, again, it's all coming over to Bitcoin. It's going to be fast and sudden. My goodness me. Uh, it's currently 13,750 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin SegWit protocol. And it's 3% more profitable to mine on CoreCoin SegWit protocol, even though it's got economically worthless. It just shows you the competition for Bitcoin. Daily average Bitcoin block size by network, Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. Transactions by network, Bitcoin winning. Transactions per block, Bitcoin winning. Fees USD, Bitcoin smashing it. Fees Satoshi's Bitcoin smashing it right down there, looking beautiful. Uh, block fee to block award ratio. So again, this is what the red line will look like, this solid line in blue. As the block award gets cut in half every 210,000 blocks, the block fee will surpass the block award. And then we have an economically self-sustaining system. Beautiful. So we'll monitor that with time. Daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. We were at 4.73 yesterday. Where are we today? What is that magic number? Come on, Coindance. You can do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Precious times to the live show. Haven't got time for all this. Dilly dallying around. Seriously, you're going to do this to me? Come on. Come on. No, nope, don't want that. Don't want that. There we go. What are we at? 4.74. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Excellent. Uh, so this is a global hash rate. Seven days. Global hash rate 24 hours. Cool coin hash rate, yeah, look, uh, so SBI crypto is still 2.78% of the global hash rate on Coolcoin. 
Fish your price cash, honestly. How stupid have you got to be? Look, it's more profitable to mine on BTC and fish and uh, beat crash is economically worthless anyway. You've got no excuse. Uh, other miners with 57.64% on there just for lulls, really. Well, actually, it's going to be used to uh, destroy the chain later. It just simply won't exist. Uh, Fisher Price Cash, what a joke. Hathor just keeping profitability at bay on there at the moment. And then we've got Bitcoin. Look at this. So uh, SBR Crypto with 42.3%. Tal, again, that is 100% of the hash rate, uh, showing 19.44%. Uh, SV Pool with uh, 8.33. Good to see them staying in the game. We like that. And uh, Dutch Mining 1.39. And other miners with uh, 28.47. Very good. So the reason we're keeping the profitability at bay and in check is because we don't want any shitcoiners or shitcoin enterprises on the chain. Because the only thing that shitcoin enterprises do is dollar worship, which leads on to price manipulation, which we'll look at now in the short positions. So here we go, look at this, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin with a short ratio of 89.82, still uh, below 90. So uh, something's happened there, something's maintaining it, very good. And let's have a look at this alternative coin that just because it carries the name BTC, it won't for long. Short uh, traders are giving a short ratio of 1.89, dear oh dear, that should be a short ratio of 100%, an absolute piece of garbage. Uh, BitInfo charts, here we are, Bitcoin with 83%, look at that, constantly sustaining it above uh, XRP with 26.4 and Ethereum with 23.7, look at that, so Bitcoin with 1.9 million transactions over 24 hours, very good. For any newbies watching the show wondering what mining operations and nodes are, these are they. This is the backbone to the new global financial system, the world's first ever commercial internet, blows my mind every time. Chainlytics, look at that. They've taken Bitcoin out and they've only listed all these dirty shit coins. They're literally uh, all security offerings, utterly worthless. So we would do uh, block size here. Look at this. Oh, dear. I mean, look, XRP shouldn't really have a block size. I mean, look at that. Like, it's a centralized system. Why is it even on there? It doesn't even use proof of work. It's absolutely ridiculous. Just goes to show how crap this website has become, really. Or should I say, corrupted. But you can see here on uh, Coin Carbon Cap, look at this. Bitcoin with 4,935 uh, transactions per megawatt hour in comparison to B crash in second place with just 44. And this dirty BTC segment protocol with just two, two transactions per megawatt hour. Absolutely outrageous. And a scaling test network. So we've had a 293 megabyte block mined on the mainnet in the last 24 hours. Let's have a look at uh, BSV data. So Metro ID are 5.3 gigabytes on a 30 day moving average daily. Let's have a look at seven days. Transactions, here we go. So run protocol producing 673,000 transactions uh, on a seven day moving average. Let's have a look at uh, applications here. So we'll do this over seven days, daily transactions, whoa. Oh my goodness me, look at this. My two cents has overtaken Relasia. Look at this. So 118,000 transactions over, uh, uh, what, well, over, uh, well, on a seven day moving average. But look at that. Second in the charts behind Crypto Fights. My two cents having an absolute belter. An absolute belter. Uh, that's beautiful. And Relasia as well, doing really well. Doing really well. Um, here we go. So uh, trends.cash, DXS, and TDXP still macking it hard. Really X in third. Uh, run and crypto fights first and second, followed by my two cents in third. That's good. Uh, crypto quant. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at these exchanges. Oh look, they're still they're still cashing out loads, cashing out loads as the price. Uh, well, well. If those in the know know what's going to happen very soon, uh, and it's no secret. So it's, yeah, my goodness me. <laughs> you know, this is why we do a daily chart show, so we can literally see what happens when it happens. My goodness me. Gearing up for it. So we've currently got 494 pet ashes on the network. And we've had, yeah, 1.8 million transactions over the last 24 hours, according to what's on chain. Let's have a look at the whale wallet. Whoa! Whoa, it's all gone. It's all gone. This had 903 uh, a 903,000 uh, Bitcoin in it, and it's now just down to half a Bitcoin, 0.48. Look at all these movements. That roughly equated to about $50 million worth of Bitcoin in one wallet. Uh, and now it's all been uh, distributed. I mean, huge amounts, huge amounts. 
I wonder if they would have been seeing my show. First of all, yeah, I mean, that's a huge amount. First of all, it went from uh, 903 down to 803, and then boom, all gone, all distributed. I mean, that, that was huge. That was huge. Uh, morning run. So, oh, look at that. Close to 2 million. We've got 1,931,607 purchases of Bitcoin over the last 24 hours. Let's have a look at Live Coin Watch. So, we've got a market cap of 1 trillion 46 billion. We have got Core Coin with a trade volume of 5.16. That's about normal. Price just taking a nosedive over 24 hour periods. Um, so we've got uh, three stable coins in the top six by market cap uh, of the uh, crypto market. What a joke. And we've got Bitcoin. Where are we now? Down at 47. Absolutely crazy. So $55, $55 and 2.3 million bids versus 2.08 million asks. Let's have a look at CoinGecko. How are we feeling about it today, Mr. Gecko? Feeling good. 88%. We'll take that magic number. Uh, tether weather. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's just dipped in the red over a day. That's unacceptable. Where is it? Over seven days, still in the green. Let's have a look at market cap. Nothing cashing out over the last 24 hours, but uh, bobbing along over the last seven days. But year to day, oof, that's not looking good. Remember, there's nothing back in that. Oh, dear. Um, Bitrex, let's have a look at this. So just nice little wavy charts here of the price movement, as you'd expect at the moment. Uh, Bitcoin versus Core Coin. Oh, you know, just not performing as well. But again, price is speculative, and phew, I wouldn't want to be holding any of that Core Coin BTC Segwit protocol, dirty piece of crap, uh, because it's economically worthless. Uh, Core Coin versus USD. So just sort of bobbing along there. Um, Coinbase Global, all oh, making a little bit of recovery, I would say. Very naive, uh, those people who are buying in. Maybe, you know, trying to take a risk because it's so low. But still down, uh, oh, 78% really. Micro strategy, all oh, you know, trying to, make a trying to make a recovery. But again, it's just traders speculating on the price. They have no idea what's coming. If they knew what I knew uh, and what was likely going to happen to the company due to its uh, core coin BTC holdings, dear, oh dear, I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. Uh, Silverfish, oh look at that, we've had 3,452 views of this over uh, so far, absolutely fantastic. So all the timestamps are uh, below here to show you what the uh, movie consists of. Please have a look at that, share and share it out. Uh, here we go, this is the countdown calendar to the Nothing Burger. We are uh, now on the 21st, so we have just got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 days left. 11, yeah, yeah, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, whew. Squeaky bump time, you know, looking forward to it. And the reason the uh, the calendar is important is because uh, Craig had said here very shortly, in fact, within weeks, people are going to uh, start to understand that calling BTC Bitcoin and referring to this technology that is illegally passing itself off as Bitcoin comes at a cost. And also later this month, that's this month, uh, you know, talking to um, Coinbase and Kraken holders, giving you a final heads up. So again, as we went over in the news report yesterday, uh, you are losing your, you're giving away title of your coins when you put them on an exchange. So he said, legally, you have a debt like money in a bank. The digital assets on these exchanges are not yours. Rather, there is an obligation to repay. That will not extend through bankruptcy. Oh dear, oh dear. And again, you know, 11 days left. So there we go. We'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the show. As ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there. We'll see you in the next one.